Hey everyone, Eric KJ4YZI. Going to do a QRP loop video here and show you how this little triangular piece of wire is going to make you contact on QRP. CQ, CQ from KJ4YZI. Now, coming to you from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida, you're watching Am Radio Concepts. Okay, KJ4YZI here again. So the QRP Pocket Loop Tuner, MFJ9232. This is just fabulous for uh, portable, antenna restricted operations, field day, any kind of QRP operating that you want to uh, take with you in a very small form factor. Okay, you've seen the other video of my uh, 935B Loop Tuner, the larger model. And if you haven't, go check that out. Please subscribe because I'm gonna make more videos with this. This basically has two variable capacitors in it and two wing nuts with a BNC connector. If you don't have a BNC, no problem. You can find a BNC to SO239 adapter on eBay for maybe two bucks shipped to your house, or you can find them at your local ham fest. Um, comes with 55 feet of stranded wire and about six or eight of these uh, wing, uh, wing nut ring terminals that you can crimp on. So the manual suggests 40 through 10 meters, 20 watts max input with this, and basically you cut the frequency, you cut the wire to the frequency of your choice, but MFJ recommends 75% of the uh, core wavelength of the operating frequency you desire. So I'm gonna do 20 meters, and that would be about 13 feet uh, cut. And I'm gonna uh, cut a piece of 13 feet wire, hook this up in some sort of loop fashion. It can be circular, circular is most efficient. It can be diamond, uh, square, uh, triangle, any sort of loop form. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You'll see in this video, I'm gonna be doing this with uh, more of a square turned into a diamond. Okay, um, so we're gonna set this up outside, see uh, how it hears. I'm gonna have it pre-tuned already. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna earball it. When they say earball, that's more like ballparking. You're gonna start off with lower numbers on here and you start turning the tuning knob until you get the peak receive signal. So you're gonna to wanna to see if you can find a station and then tune this for peak. Once you hear the peak reading, you're gonna start tuning the matching knob uh, and then transmitting a small five watt signal into it, uh, achieve the lowest SWR. And it may take some tweaking depending on your arrangement of loop and the height above ground and the frequency you're operating on. This recommends that if you're using 14 megahertz and above, you can use this at ground level like I am with minimal ground loss. If you're using this on uh, 40 meters or lower, uh, you're gonna to wanna to be above the first floor of the house. Uh, the ground losses are higher, uh, lower than 14 megahertz. MFJ also uh, puts on the manual 40 through 10 meters, but I did talk to them, and they say they have used this at 80 meters with 53 feet of this wire. So basically this wire minus two feet and put the ends on it, you'll be able to arrange that in some sort of loop form, which will be a little difficult at that size. But if you can do that, you can work this on 80 meter QRP as well. So. Um, Let's get outside and uh, check this out. Remember, when you're using loops, you want to stay away from this loop when you're transmitting. Even though you're only using 20 watts, you can have high currents, and it can be very dangerous RF exposure and burns if you touch it. Uh, this is insulated wire, but again, you don't want to touch these when you're transmitting at all because it can cause a severe burn. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out outside and make a contact. And please stay subscribed if you haven't seen my other loop video. I'm gonna be using this again with the other one in about a month at the uh, Pelican Island Field Day special event down in Vero. And I'm gonna have this maybe set up on 40 CW and the other one set up on 20 phone. And we're gonna put these right on the water where we're gonna be operating at five watts and we're gonna make a boatload of contacts and show you some more. And stay tuned for other videos on how to build antennas and QRP operations. So let's get outside and see what I got going on and uh, and how it works. All right, so this is what I have here. Uh, you've probably seen my loop video, uh, loop tuner on winter field day last weekend. Uh, so I'm using the same stand, PVC stand I made here, uh, with 13 feet of wire and the included wire that comes with it, I cut down to 13 foot and it comes with the little ring terminal so you can crimp on the end. All right, um, so 13 foot for 20 meters uh, with recycling bins and rocks holding it up there because it's a very windy day. Hopefully the wind is not uh, ruining the microphone here. And uh, running on just a 12 volt 70 amp hour battery here with it taped on and that's it. A little jumper coax here and uh, that's what I got. So uh, the beer is not necessary but it makes it that much more fun. So uh, let's listen to a couple stations and make a contact.
minute ago, and uh, evidently uh, Walter was not copying you up north, but uh, a little bit light copy. The, you actually uh, signal dropped off just a little bit from uh, the original one. You're originally about five and five, five and six maybe, but uh, you're probably about a four and four, four and three right now. Good. All right, very good. Well, you're a five seven, uh, strong five nine at times. You have really good audio. I'm running eight watts right now. Uh, in the driveway with a MFJ QRP pocket loop tuner with a homemade loop in a form of a uh, three and a half foot wide diamond. Go ahead. Okay, fine on the loop and the uh, sitting in the driveway and the uh, the QRP uh, eight watts got you no problem. Okay, well I'm running uh, about fourteen hundred watts to three element Yagi at about fifty five feet. So that's the uh, the story here anyway. But we are one hundred percent copyable. Uh, so uh, you know it's working. I guess it's it's like everything else. It's uh, a two a degree, <laughs> but uh, not having any problem copying you for the most part anyway. So, uh, name on this end is Rich Romeo India Charlie Hotel. I'm located in uh, uh, Illinois, about 140 miles uh, south of Chicago, and uh, so I guess that uh, covers that. Good. All right, very good. Well, we're down here in uh, Central South Florida, about 50 miles south of Cape Canaveral, right on the East Coast, and. Uh, we got a YouTube channel. I, I do some various uh, playing around and experimenting with stuff. And this, by far, with eight watts right now in my driveway, a foot off the ground, is definitely surprising me uh, uh, making it to Illinois. So I let you go, but I wanted to uh, thank you for the, uh, the acknowledgement. And uh, when I get the video done, maybe I'll send you a link to your email if you want. I'll uh, pull up your QRZ and send you a link to the video so you see yourself on the other end, or hear it at least. Uh, I, let me get your call one more time because i got nothing to write with. KJ4YZIQRP. Okay, it's W9 Romeo Golf or W9 Rich Guy, uh, Eric, but uh, unfortunately I'm rich in name only. All right, well, W9 Romeo Golf, very good. 7-3, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll be clear. Uh, KJ4YZI, 7-3, sir. Yeah, you're up back up to about five and five, five and six. We'll see you later. Seven three. Two five WXY.